The Salem witch trials happened because of greed and avarice, jealousy and misunderstanding. In Salem 1692, people are living a rough life day to day. All of a sudden, two young girls start having these tremendous fits, and they claim that these fits are caused by witches. Other girls, as well as women and men in the community, start saying, I'm bewitched as well. And they name witches who are brought in to a trial. And then it snowballs from there. The people who were condemned and executed for witchcraft during the time of the Salem Hysteria were absolutely not witches. The hysteria broke out at a time when the people of Salem were fearful and superstitious, terrified of a new world they didn't understand. Unfortunately, there were many who took advantage of this growing panic. When you have that much fear wrapped up in a place, it's very easy for things like old grudges to start to come to the fore. There were so many rivalries that a lot of politics was going on. I might accuse you because you have land next to mine that I want. And if you are hanged as a witch, I have a chance of getting your property. You started to see neighbor versus neighbor, friend against friend. It really impacted everyone. History has never been able to cover up the tragic events that consumed a whole community. Hundreds of lives ruined in an instant by one's very neighbor. The area in and around Salem has paid the price for its tragic past. Plagued by the ghostly victims of the 1692 trials, and a dark curse that has infested Salem ever since.